your News at 12. I'm Jeremy Smith, and today's top stories... Major disruptions on the M6 northbound after cattle and other livestock escape onto the carriageway. Reports indicate no serious injuries, but do expect delays if using this route. Celebrations taking place at Oasis Academy after students successfully raised £10,000 for children in need. More from Headmaster James Walker later in the show. Breaking news. This is a dramatisation and it's entertainment purposes only. Okay, hold. Right. We've just received news that some sort of crash or gas explosion has taken place in the centre of Manchester. We now go live to Adam Bryan at the scene of the incident. Yes, hello, Jeremy. I'm here live at Market Street, Manchester, where hundreds of people have gathered to witness what appears to be a large crater around 20 metres in width. There is a lot of smoke and a few fires around the scene of the incident. Emergency services are attempting to extinguish flames surrounding the crater. We've received no official confirmation of the exact cause of this damage. Eyewitnesses reported seeing a large cylindrical object descending from the sky at high speeds. A Adam, what, what is the general feeling of the public surrounding this? Well, the general feeling here is one of anxiety and concern, as eyewitnesses state that this may be a plane crash or an unidentified flying object. As you can hear, the area is on red alert at the moment. I'll bring you more on the situation as it unfolds. Thank you, Adam. OK, if you're just joining us, from what we can tell, this appears to be a plane crash in the Manchester city centre. We are now joined by an eyewitness of the crash, Jess Rogers. This is a dramatisation and is entertainment purposes only. Hello, Jess. Uh, hello, Jeremy. Jess, I, I believe you witnessed everything that happened earlier today. Could you please share with us what you saw? Yes, I was shopping with my daughter when she pointed at the sky and asked me, oh, why is the sun getting closer? So I looked up and obviously knew this was not the sun. I initially thought it was a plane. But as it got closer, we could hear a loud rumbling sound and could feel gusts of winds all around us. We quickly ran for cover in a nearby shop where we saw the object fly straight over us. It was about as big as a bus, but round and looked to be covered in flames. OK, Jess, that, it sounds like a traumatic experience for everyone then. Oh, yes, it was awful. It then quickly disappeared out of sight behind some buildings and everything went so quiet and still. Then a split second later, we heard a massive bang that shook the ground all around us. It caused stuff to fall off the shelves in the shop. And then we noticed the dust. There was a trail of dust rising to the sky for as far as we could see. So, so what, what you're telling us is that this is not a plane brush, but a flying saucer? Uh, no, I, I didn't say it was a flying saucer, but yes, it was definitely round and in a ball of flames. OK, thank you, Jess. I'm going to have to stop you there. We are now receiving news from our reporter, Adam Brown, live at the scene. We'll take you to Manchester City Centre. This is a dramatisation and is entertainment purposes only. The situation here in Manchester has worsened. In the past few minutes, the Royal Guard have arrived to seal off the area. Civilians have been moved to a safe distance while the investigations begin. I am here now with Captain Nigel Smith of the Royal Guard. Captain Smith, what is going on? We are yet to receive any official reports, so could you enlighten us in any way? Hello. Well, at 10.45 this morning, this large object you can see appears to have crash-landed in the centre of Piccadilly Gardens. There have been a handful of minor injuries, but no fatalities. OK, but what is this object? A plane? And why does this require army attention? We can't be sure exactly. All we know is... It appears to be opening. Smoke is pouring out from the centre of the object. Oh, my God. What is that? Hello? A Adam, are you still with us? Hello, uh, uh, I don't understand what this is. It just cracked open and the next thing I know, all these machines poured out. The Royal Guard opened fire, but it didn't look very effective. People are running and screaming, this is madness. Oh, wait. Oh my God, it, it, it's seen me. Hello? Hello, Adam. Adam, are you okay? 